How's it going, guys? Medium difficulty question for biochemistry for step one. If you're studying for 2CK, even though these answer choices are obviously step one-esque, uh, this vignette you need to know. So before we get started, please subscribe and channel. I really appreciate it. Give it a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, LN underscore medical, and MHLN man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to Telegram group channel down below. And I'll start the clip. 82-year-old woman. She's been on a tea and toast diet for the past six months. And her physical exam shows no abnormalities. MCV is elevated at 108. Should be 80 to 100. And then we have a hyper-segmented neutrophil here. Now, many of you watching this clip say, well, how are we supposed to differentiate between B9, which is folate, and B12 deficiency? We don't have enough information. So there's two ways you can kind of go about it. The first way is you can say, well, physical exam, including neurologic exam, shows no abnormalities. B12 deficiency, we tend to get neurologic abnormalities. So since we don't have those here, maybe it's B9 deficiency instead. That's a, it's not a bad point to make. However, you should know that it's not mandatory that you have neurologic abnormalities and B12 deficiency. Those, in fact, can occur more late in the deficiency. So even though it's a good thought, that in and of itself is not why we would say that this is folate deficiency. The reason that this is folate deficiency is because U.S. Assembly wants you to know that B9 is the first vitamin to become depleted in patients with poor diets. Alcoholism, elderly who are on tea and toast diet. Tea and toast diet is non-specific for vitamin deficiencies. It could be uh, vitamin C deficiency, scurvy. It could be B9 deficiency. Okay, so it's non-specific. I've seen this uh, on NBME exams. So they want you to know that this is folate deficiency, just based on de uh, depletion of stores within four to six months. B12, the stores last longer, even up to one to two years. Okay, so obviously strict vegetarianism, veganism for B12 deficiencies, bigger risk factors. Uh, B9 deficiency you don't see in veganism because B9 is replete. It's in high amounts in green leafy vegetables. So this is folate deficiency here. And U.S. Family wants you to know the up, down, or no change combination for homocysteine methylmalonic acid. So what you need to know for starters in that is that for both B9 and B12 deficiencies, homocysteine is increased. Okay, you don't have to worry about all the biochemical nonsense, okay? But you need to know that homocysteine is increased in both B9 and B12 deficiencies. Now, methylmalonic acid obviously being a special one here, which, holy shit, it's only going to be increased in B12 deficiency. So our correct answer is increased homocysteine, no change methylmalonic acid. This is for folate deficiency. If in contrast, we had B12 deficiency, the answer would be an up arrow for both. So once again, you don't have to worry about all the biochemical nonsense. Okay, we, we don't have a numerical step one anymore. Obviously, for instance, uh, B12, uh, it's a cofactor for methylmalonic uh, acid, methylmalonyl-CoA mutase, uh, which can convert methylmalonyl-CoA into succinyl-CoA in the TCA cycle. So if you have a, a deficiency of that enzyme activity, then we would have uh, increased methyl malonyl CoA as an example, okay? But US simply doesn't give a fuck. So I just want you to take home that uh, it's up arrow for both if it's B12 deficiency, not the answer in, in this case. Uh, it's up arrow homocysteine, uh, no change methyl malonic acid for B9 deficiency, which is the correct answer here. Because if you're forced to choose a B9 or B12 deficiency in an elderly patient with no other information or an alcoholic with no other information, uh, U.S. simply wants you to know folate deficiency is more common. Hypersegmented neutrophils seen in both due to poor DNA synthesis. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.